Hello and welcome to the first Too Simple webinar on Evidence Me. Today we'll look at the switch between Two Builder Profile and Evidence Me. We'll look at how to set up and manage your users and classes, and then we'll take a look at the app and how the app and the web suite work together, and we'll look at the assessment areas as well. Switching between Two Builder Profile and Evidence Me is easy. Simply log in to your existing Two Builder Profile account and you'll see a link on the landing page to switch to Evidence Me. Clicking on the link will generate this email that will be sent to you. There is a link here at the bottom that you can click on to start the upgrade. That will then load up this page and you can tick to confirm you have read the upgrade instructions and select the button here to upgrade to Evidence Me. You'll then receive a further email with a link to click to activate your account. Follow the link and create a password to activate your account. Once you have set your password, you'll be prompted to go to the login page to sign in. We're now at the landing page for the Evidence Me web suite. You'll see at the top that you're registered as your school name. So the first thing we're going to do is click on My Profile and edit it so our display name is correct. Simply add your first name, last name and display name in the My Profile area and then click on Save Changes. You'll now see at the top that your display name has switched to become your actual name. The next thing we need to do is set up some staff users in your account. To the top left you'll see a menu and when you click on it you'll see an option for administration. On the left you'll see the name of your organisation and on the right you'll see the members of staff associated with that organisation. To add a member of staff simply click on the plus at the top and fill in their details in this box. When you have filled in all the details, click Create at the bottom and that member of staff will be added to your organisation. Once they have been added, they will receive this email to activate their account. Repeat this as required to add all the members of staff that need access to Evidence Me. In the administration area, over on the left, you've got further menu options. The first of these is modules and this can be expanded to show Evidence Me and Frameworks, Observation Notes and Report Templates. If I click on Frameworks at the top here, a list of all the frameworks accessible via Evidence Me appears. I can use this to control which frameworks and which parts of the frameworks appear on the devices when I take observations. Clicking through these allows me to see the categories within the frameworks and I can choose categories and edit and delete as I need to. If I want to make an entire framework active or inactive, I can select it Click on Edit at the top, scroll down to the bottom and choose Activate Framework and Save. Clicking through the menu, you can edit the Observation Notes options in the same way by selecting them and then editing or deleting at the top. The next option down is Report Templates. When you generate a report for the children, it will use our standard template unless you suggest otherwise. You can download that standard template by clicking on this button here. Once you've downloaded the template, make any changes you need to. You'll need to enable editing at the top and then save it to somewhere you'll remember. Back into this area here, you can click on Upload New Custom Template and select and upload the template you have just edited. Now we have created staff logins and made any other changes in the administration area that we wanted to, we can come back out of this area and set up our learners and classes. I'm going to go back to the menu button and click on the Evidence Me landing page. Here, in the menu on the left, I've got access to learners' portfolios, and this is where I can sort out my learners and my classes. If you have upgraded from TubeBuilder Profile to Evidence Me, and all your users and learners were set up correctly in TubeBuilder Profile, they will automatically be moved across into Evidence Me, and you won't have to set it up from scratch. It is at this point that I'd like to recommend our useful support pages at help.evidence.me. Over on the left you'll see a menu and within that menu you'll see setup. At the bottom option here is classes and learners and there are some helpful instructions and videos to help you set them up. If I scroll down this page I'll see an option to download a CSV file which I can then populate with the learner details and upload into Evidence Me. I have populated the spreadsheet with some example data. On the left hand side I have only put one parent's email address against a child, but you are likely to have this against each child in your group. If I go back into Evidence Me, I'll see a button under Unassigned Learners that says Upload Learners. 
This will only be visible for administration users. I can click on this and browse and select the template that I've just populated. When I click on open and upload, it will upload those learners into Evidence Me. The learners have now all appeared on the right hand side in the unassigned learners area. Now I'd like to move them into their class. If I click on the plus button in the classes widget, I get the opportunity to make a class. So I'm just going to put a class name in here and select the teachers that I want to be attached to that class. Create. You'll see now that the Robbins class has been created, but it currently has no learners in it. If I go back to unassigned learners, I can select them all, then hover over the left hand side of them and drag them into Robbins class. Now the learners are in Robbins class, when I select Robbins, I can see them all on the right hand side. We recommend that you upload your learners, one class or group at a time. In a similar way to uploading the Excel file, you can create and upload a CTF file from your MIS. For demonstration purposes, I have now added a second class, RENS, and moved half the children from Robin's class into RENS, so I have a selection of children in each class. I can also create groups within a class by selecting the class and clicking on the plus at the top. This will suggest that I am creating a group in Robin's class and I'm going to name the group and create. Now you'll see there's a little plus next to the Robbins class. If I click on the plus, it will open up my groups. If I select girls, you'll see currently I have no girls within that group. Going back to Robbins class, I can now select the learners I'd like to pop in girls group and drag them across. Each time it'll ask me if I want to copy the selected item. So I've added Molly and now I'll add Polly. Now when I click in girls groups, I'll see the learners I have added. If I want to remove them from a group, I simply select them and delete them from the group. This will remove them from the group, but they'll still be within the class that goes above the group. Let's pop Molly back into the girls group. Once the learners have been uploaded, you can click on the learner and click on the edit pen to view the information for that learner. You'll notice here there are two tabs, one for learner details and one for parent details. Within Learner Details, you'll see there is an option here for a portrait of the child. If you click on Edit, you are able to import a picture into this box. If you are happy with the picture, click on Upload and that will set the portrait for that child. Here, I am looking at the child that I added a parent email address in for. If I highlight that and right click and copy, I can go over to the Parent tab and paste that email address in here. That will then add it underneath here and I can click on the status Send Invitation to invite that parent to use Evidence Me Parent Share. I'm going to click on Save Changes. The parent will then receive an email to welcome them to the parent suite. They can click on the link to activate their account. On clicking the link, they are prompted to create a password. Once they have created a password, they will be able to sign in to a parent view of Evidence Me. Going back to the staff view, if you were to click on Parent Share in the menu on the left hand side, you will be able to clearly see which learners have email addresses assigned to them and the status of that activation link they were emailed. 